MMO champion up. <laughs> okay, so as soon as Nalagag, well, you know what? Forget about Nalagag. We'll just start, and he can just fill in. Yeah, whatever. Oh, right. Tor, I got an ad on your sh damn stream. What the hell? Well, if you subscribe for a low, low price of forty nine ninety nine, you too can have ad free viewing content. I'm not, not for forty nine ninety nine. Not important enough Screw that. to remove ads. <laughs> Even though I know Hobbs, it's um, not that important. I, I know Hobbs, guys. Come on now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey everybody, it is Torre here, and this is another week of Coffee Talk. Of course, we got our normal Nalagag and Havanis with us. Danny is out with the girlfriend, and Doy is getting his something waxed and bleached. His freak off. <laughs> So, uh, and we have special guest here, Unholy Pally. Everyone knows him. He's the guy that's always running into a wall, and, and he just stays the AFK running into a wall. He's that guy. If you don't know who Unholy is, he's bad at every single thing he does. It, this is true. And I have a personal <laughs> vendetta against him, and I hate him. <coughs> oh, okay. So, uh... Unholy Gate 2016. What's been going on this week? How? What up, bitch? <laughs> uh, everything's been pretty good, actually. I got to spend time with my girl. And then I gross tore out by posting thousands upon thousands of pictures on Facebook, which was just two. <laughs> and um, I've been working slash streaming when I can, but I haven't really been doing much because I've been too busy with the story of uh, Empire, Fallen Empire on Sword War. <laughs> eh, no one has tried that yet. Please do so. It is so good. They did very well with it. I think we're going to have to have a podcast next week with just us talking about how awesome it is. I agree. It is yeah. really. They've, 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 everything they, they messed up in the past... They, they, may, they redeemed it. themselves with this storyline. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, besides that, I have not been doing too much. Just working and trying to get videos out when I can. Uh, with Good me, Unholy. Unholy? Yeah, let's go with Unholy. Unholy! <laughs> so what you been doing besides failing? Um, Waiting to hear about a certain someone. <laughs> if they are... Indeed, alive or not. Yes, and anyone doesn't know, Unholy is a huge uh, Walking Dead fan. Bigger than I am. <laughs> I have so much Walking Dead stuff, I need more. <laughs> you have yeah, so much Walking Dead stuff that it's almost like you're a walking, talking corpse. Yes, indeed. That uh, sucks at everything he does. Other than that, uh, I just recently... Redownloaded Steam and got into Clicker Hero, which is uh, <laughs> addictive as hell. <laughs> yeah, he's still at noob status, is he? Yeah. Yeah, Have I'm you like. Giving them the auto clicker yet? Come on. I'm at like level. I'm almost in the 90s now. 90s. I think. I'm at 1300. <laughs> uh, I, I went down because I ascended twice. Well, but... he still keep your highest rank. That's what yeah. you go by. It always goes by a highest rank, even if you send. Yeah. I suppose I should change the thing to game talk shows. Um, with me, <laughs> I'm going to go quickly with me. It's just nothing's been going on. Today, uh, Nalagag, uh, Doi, and myself watch uh, BlizzCon, and that's what's going to be most of the discussion today. Uh... We'll, we'll uh, actually, screw it. Time. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing Shower with Your Dad Simulator on this podcast. Oh yes, that's, <laughs> yes. Shower with your dad. I think Nalgag's back. Yeah, I'm back. As a, as a prank, I gave the game to uh, half of the people here. As just me being a total ass. I I'm gonna play a it. Copy of the game. I sent one to. I think I sent one to Nal. I sent one to Hal. I sent one to Nobo, and I sent one to Danny. <laughs> It, it's like a 99 cents, I think. Something like that. Dollar 99. It was 99 cents for the it was sale. 99 cents, yes, during the sale. So I say, you know what? It's a dollar. <laughs> you get one, and you get one, and you get one. Everyone it's gets a shower with their dads. <laughs> I can't give you one, Unholy. You're going to fail even in that one. 
Yeah, I honestly. will, but you, it'll be go fun. You'll showering with your mom instead of the dad. No, it's, it's just like, game. it's like, oh, this is unholy, and I'm playing shower with your dad simulator, and he's just outside walking into a street <laughs> sign. <laughs> what do you do? No, he starts actually really showering with his dad. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have showers in Canada. Hi, this is unholy, you... and I'm showering with my grandmother today. <laughs> we, we... Showering here is like kind of complicated because like we live in igloos, but oh, yes, you manage. So I forgot that you're a fellow Canadian. Fuck off! <laughs> Stop giving away our secrets. So, do you live on? Where in Canada do you live, on Holyoke? Just to remind. I'm in Ontario near uh, that's Hobbs. More west. He's near Hobbs. Yeah. So that's more All west. Right. Yes, I believe. I think he's more Western. Look on the map and... I'm not doing that. I came here to talk about friggin' Warcraft and whatever else. I'm not looking at a map. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly you clear have not played WoW then. Exactly. You're, most of your time is looking at a map. I hope you know that. What? I, I didn't know that. I, I usually run into stuff. World of Warcraft <laughs> is just Open Your Map Simulator 2013. <laughs> Because they haven't given us a good thing since 2013. Hi, -o. New game on Steam, Unholy Simulator 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to play that because I'm too good at video games. Coming out next week. <laughs> of the closet? Next week to produce. <laughs> All right. No. Nalagag, what's How? up with you this week? How? We don't say that. Shh. I've been dealing with fucking taxes and fucking... I don't know, politics, I don't know what fucking idea. <laughs> I had some issues with, um, I've been signing, I got uh, under a new contract at work, which actually gives me a legit payment, which makes me now a middle class. And I didn't get my paycheck last week, because apparently Did the woman was... It? Yeah, they fixed it, of course. Duh, I'm playing an Xbox right now. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> the woman never got the information about it. So I haven't had my pay, had any money for like the past week. So I've been calling back and forth to like the agency, the workplace, the tax office. It's just, just been on the phone calls for the past week. I've just been irritated about it. But today I finally got my paycheck. Yep. He went and ate a piece of tamper repeated mattress and it was all good. But are you still illegally stuff. streaming the thing to all your Twitch people? No, I'm not legal. Illegally, I would never do something like that. We would never do anything like that for five hours. Yeah. No we all, camera. We all went to Torre's house and watched it. Yes, you all flew to my house for five hours and then flew back. <laughs> In the that, amount of time that it takes to fly. Now the guy is still streaming from the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now our Nalagag is an Xbox user. Yeah. I gotta go yeah. get the time card so I can play with you guys again. That's that's gonna be so much fun playing. Um yes. so let's start with what let's start with last night. Let's start <laughs> with that, because that was extremely fun. Uh basically all of us were like, We're just gonna quit. Wow, it's ridiculous. So, for people who didn't know, last night, MMO Champion, and which also mentioned today, because they got pissed at MMO Champion for releasing some information ahead of time, uh, they stated that, they they said the, the price of the collector's edition and the digital and all that, and they said what's going to happen. Uh, you'll get the boost. Uh, to 100, you won't be able to get your Demon Hunter unless you have a 70, and you're only allowed one Demon Hunter per server. Uh, but the biggest kick in the crotch, which all, all day today, we were making constant jokes of this, was Hellfire Citadel. We're, we're stuck with Hellfire Citadel till September of 2016, because that's when Legion is going to be launched. So we're going to be stuck with that same content for 11 months. 
provided that they do not do an update to the game in the form of a patch 6.6 .6 or whatever the hell they're going into. Which they probably will, but even though what they give you a month, but they'll probably do that a month beforehand. So not that, even. So it's just say month, 10, 10 months with the same raid content. Why would you pay for something that's... I call it a stale product. Uh, that's what It would be. For. A month for. after your raid content comes out, it's stale. They're you banking should. on that it's still... it's You're, you're going to be getting content because people are going to be getting into the PTR. And they're going to be like, oh, you're in the PTR. You're doing content right now. That's not new content. It's not even stable content. You don't even know mm. what's going to happen. They just... It's it's stupid that you're paying for content. You're this literally doing the same someone, shit you've been doing last year. Exactly. This is this is coming from someone, by the way, who is constantly paying for the game for eleven years now. Yes, and I probably will still continue. Stupid me. I mean, I said I'll come back and play it. I hope it's good. If it's good and keeps my attention, great. If not, not I'll go back to Hellfire Citadel. Uh, so. which one, old or new? Both. <laughs> so, um, let's start with BlizzCon today. What do you guys think? Oh, just your first initial reactions to BlizzCon. We going in order? Uh, let's start with you, Hal. Uh, I was very underwhelmed. <laughs> I, I... Great choice of words. I... I didn't feel like there was a lot there. The only time that I felt immediately excited is when I got to see the trailer for um, the uh, the actual Legion trailer, the cinematic trailer. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I popped the chub when I was when I was walking <laughs> back because that was awesome. Because that render time. Everything else was very underwhelming. <laughs> How about you now? Honestly, I don't really know what to say about BlizzCon this year, what they showed. The only thing that actually got me a little pumped a little bit was Legion itself. Yeah. For the cinematic. Everything else is just like, I don't really care. And if you actually paid attention to the audience, it sounded the same for everyone. They didn't give a shit. It I was like, oh. Like it was like, half assed. I was like, oh, heroes. Yay. Yeah, ha oh, yeah, watch. No, uh, Yay. Uh. Well, that was like Legion, and they came like, oh, yeah. Oh, and then it was like. Because it was already spoiled. No, it was time. like this. No, but the, 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 holy, they didn't give us any information. Nothing that all. we didn't know. Everything else we didn't know. Well, I don't have the virtual ticket, so I, I haven't seen anything except for what uh, the cinematic trailer that. They put up on uh, YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what else? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't like that cinematic trailer, though. It was. It was. A, it was a beautiful trailer. It, it was like, okay, it just gave a date at the end. Like, I'll have you know okay. that Varian Rin's render time for each four <laughs> sections of his whole thing was six hours. For one oh, section. Right. He brain. looks old, though. He looks really, like, super old. Lore-wise, lore he's, like, 60. Okay, that makes sense, then. Yeah. <laughs> I was more <laughs> amused and excited for the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman <laughs> the background. floating in the background of the, the casters. We were watching uh, the, the, the connecting tissue between uh, uh, the panels, and... <laughs> Guy in the background just got this headless horseman head on a stick, <laughs> floating it around in the background while these casters are doing shit. They're oblivious the to it. That was the best. Yeah. That was BlizzCon. Uh, <laughs> that was BlizzCon for me. I love BlizzCon for the the crowd when it was there. It was so bad that Doi left. Yeah. Doi left twice. Uh, He's probably fed up. He's it, like, screw this. It <laughs> felt like it was half ass. Uh, I mean, rushed. It felt rushed too. Yeah, it's like, I. What's the best word to put it? It's just underwhelming. It was. It was underwhelming is the best way to say it because it just they were like giving us content that we already knew. 
They threw in a new few things, but the things that they threw in new was like, wow, we get that um, in every expansion. <laughs> some of it didn't help either, because everybody was under the impression that Overwatch is a free-to-play game. Yes, even and I, I thought it was free-to-play. I, I thought, thought you were just going to download it and, and microtransactions, but it's you got to buy a Didn't Netflix they announce copy. it as free-to-play game? Yeah. Because I know that's why it's stuck in my head. Yeah. Wait. So, so I don't get to download it for free when it comes out. Oh my, no! You have to pay sixty bucks. Uh, well, if you get the origin version, if you get the regular version, it's forty bucks. Okay, Blizzard, you might want to like state that it's not going to be a f- like a free to play game like Heroes ahead of time. <laughs> like, I think what they meant by free to play was it's not going to cost you a subscription fee. But they should have clarified play. that. They, <laughs> they, they should have really clarified that because that, that was really because everyone was like in shock. I know I was. I got to read the forums and stuff, and people like actually complain it's not free to play. <laughs> uh, my I think the Legion trailer was far superior to the movie trailer. Honestly, yeah, the- that movie trailer was just like okay. It gave you a lot of good shots of the characters. Asides that, I, uh, it didn't make me any more pumped for the movie than I was. Right. I think that is going to be good, but not. I don't think I have a feeling it's not going to be that great. Now that Legion cinematic trailer. Yes. Good job, Blizzard, on that one because that was dope. Varian took it, and the I you saw that look that he gave Sylvanas. He's like, do I trust you? And Sylvanas is just so like, I got your back. I got your back. So, we're, <laughs> this is just a prediction. But what if something flies between Varian and Sylvanas and gives her hope? Because she 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 doesn't care if she lives or dies now. Uh, she's like, she's, you know, her only focus is staying alive so she can create more undead and take over more area. Right, right. But but basically, her whole f- focus was. Completed already to kill Lich King. That was her sole purpose. And then when that's done, she didn't have anything else. So now she just works with uh, the Valkyrs. Yeah, well, the Valkyr work for her. Yeah, and they just resurrect undead to keep you know everyone you know her, the race of the undead is going. Yeah, and if she dies, they can sacrifice one of them to resurrect uh, her. But there's only like a few left, aren't there? Only like three left, I think. I think there's like. Two, three left, yeah. I want to say left. three. There was four, but then they sacrificed one of themselves to Rezor from the Lich King. Well, there was seven in total. Seven. We killed one. Uh, three of them sacrificed themselves to uh, uh, Rezor up the first time that Godfrey shot her. So, I think there's two left. Yeah, two left. Two or wow. three. That should be good enough for now. Yeah, so she should be good for another two deaths. Dave, they also mentioned that she's going to play a big role in this expansion. She they has not done s- anything since Wrath. They mentioned the same with Gen Greymane, and I didn't see him in the trailer. Well, he is going to be- play a big role Yeah. in uh, Heroes of Storm. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was more impressed with the stuff that they gave us through Overwatch than what they gave everything else. And then Legion kind of brought me back with the hype, because I was kind of hyped after watching that. I think... I hope it's worth the wait, is what I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, honestly, and I'm, I'm just letting everybody know right now, that if Legion is a flop, Blizzard has two options. Free-to-play, or just fold. Yep. They, they, don't have, they don't have a choice. Because if Legion is a flop... They're at 5.5. I guarantee they're going to be going down to 3 million subscribers. That's about the same amount as uh, Swotor yeah. and Rift. They they have about 1 to 3 million subscribers. So going from 12 million originally, almost peaking three at the, million? to 3, that's a huge jump in, what, two years? But they don't care because, like Nalagag said beforehand when I was talking to him, they made more money off of Hearthstone in the first month that it was out than they ever did on a two years worth of WoW. 
I mean, you can never go wrong on like Magic the Gathering type of games. No, Hearthstone's killing it though. Like, oh yeah. I mean, even that's... Heroes is killing it. That's where a majority of their money is coming from, like, as of recent. Hmm. I'm back on track there, Tor. <laughs> we keep getting distracted because there's just so much stuff that we watch. Yeah, alright, so we cover, uh... So, let's, let's talk about the movie. Let's bring it, let's start with the first announcement they had, the movie. What are your thoughts on... Your first initial thoughts on the movie? How? Um, George Lucas directed it because there's a whole shit ton of CGI. Well, the whole thing is CGI, the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> happy about that. If they were going to do a CGI movie, why did they not do it as a cinematic? They, they, it's almost like a Final Fantasy, and that's what scares me. Yeah. That, that was really what I, scares me. That was what I said when I saw that trailer. It's like, it looks like a cinematic. But it was... Like, in a cinematic, that cinematic that we watched with the Legion one, I thought Varian was a fucking breathing human being. They did Varian so well in that. I was like, wow. Now, when I watched, looked at King Lane in the movie, I'm all like, so they pasted this dude's head on a CGI body. <laughs> yeah. Now, but I don't, yeah. <laughs> refresh me on Alliance history. Who is King Lane? King Lane he is Varian Ren's father. The original king. He's the king from Warcraft 2? Yes. Two. Warcraft 2. Yeah. Warcraft 2. Not to confuse with the king of Lordaeron. No. Uh, king of Lordaeron is Arthas' fault. So originally there were two kings. Um, the alliance was unified but splintered into uh, like small clans and governed by um, different areas, so it's like uh, King Lane was the overall alliance commander, but there was still King Taranis and you know all the other ones. But, but how many kings were there? Actual title of kings? Oh, title of kings? I think there was two or three. Lane? Lane, um, King uh, Taranis, and Magni Bronzebeard? Or, yeah, Magni, King Magni. Oh, and King, man. Okay, so there were because the dwar the like, at the time the alliance was only human, really. They had a very few other um, races in the alliance. Dwarves and gnomes were probably about the close second. Okay, so does everyone does everyone agree that the CGI was pretty good on the movie? They actually did it well. No. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen the movie trailer? No. Not yet. You, you gotta watch it. It's really good. Uh, it just... I just have... I mean, the special effects and I, everything, I was... It's really good. Like, with the dire wolf, I was like, I don't want to meet that. Like, in-game, I can one-shot them. But I don't want to meet one of those in real life attacking me. The dire wolf and... Um, Duratan look really good. Yes. Is there explosions? But yeah. Like and Michael Richard. Bay style explosion. Oh, I don't think there's that. No, no, no. <laughs> God there's like a, bal Bay. a ballista blows up with like oil and shit, but I think that's about it. <laughs> My main concern is, and I think we're all there, is the storyline. The storyline is what's going to make or break the movie. Well, the storyline is Warcraft 2 onwards, so it's we already know. Go towards... When they leave, are they gonna show the demons? That's my like that they're gonna do story. They doing the storyline when the demons when um. Gul'dan like like Legion they like the uh, Gul'dan was telling them to go. Uh, to drink. Oh yeah. And it, I, that's what I'm thinking because that's when they came through the portal. They doing the storyline of the portal, right? Uh yeah, it's kind of like the portal. Yeah, when they first come through. So that's going to be interesting. And are they going to show Torrens? Are they going to show Trolls? They never showed that. We don't that. know. We because don't know. We the first person that... Uh, who was it that... What's his name? Um, Thrall's father. Duratan. Duratan. The first person he met was Karen. If you played Warcraft. 
when he came over. No. No, that's Thrall. Thrall met Karen. Was Thrall? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're, you're thinking right. of Warcraft 3 storyline with I'm the thinking of... bonus campaigns. Yeah. Okay. My bad. So then I gotta I gotta play Warcraft again. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta relive it into the story. Um. Just by these cinematics, give me a rating of one to ten. What do you think? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm just, I'm showing the so the trailer on um, my stream without any sound. I didn't know it. We see Nerzul as well. That's cool. In the trailer. So, I think it's gonna be, we're gonna be, like, kind of going around, like, with the warlords and stuff. So, yeah, it's gonna be, but our timeline of warlords. Not, our timeline warlords, not... Please not, do not get it confused with the timeline that's in the game. No, that not M. Night Shyamalan warlords. <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> what a twist! Our timeline in the game is, like, so messed up. Yeah, in the game, don't <laughs> go by that. Do not go by that, because it, it's all twisted. That Just happened. think of the only thing that is canon as the books being canon, and then you've got it. The only thing canon is that Durtan was there, Gul'dan was there. Gorfin is not what he's supposed to be. So, no. that got he, all messed up. But Gorfin's a, a, a side character anyway, so he was never really important. Uh, he, do, he has enough pull to be, rearrange himself in Black Temple. Mm. Uh, all right, so let's move on to the next part, which was Hearthstone. New expansion. I'm excited. New I am expansion? A little excited. What are you talking about? This is the first I'm hearing. Explain. Oh, yeah. What was it, um, the League of... Uh, League of Explorers uh, Adventure. Yes. It's Sounds a, like... Uh, it's like, Ness like Nass. Is it Hemet? Hemet Nessling Wary? Uh, no, it's it's uh, it's um, Bran Bronzebeard and the the, the night elf um, architect lady and stuff. It's all the people that you like you see in game that have like uh, for the artifact stuff, like for like going well, into archaeology. The Merlock guy. Ah, uh, okay. New. Yeah. That guy was new, right? I never seen him before. The Merlock. Uh, the Merlock is basically Total Biscuit as a Merlock. Yeah, so, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Just gotta put the hat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looked pretty good. I like the. It's kind of a different tempo, like playing it with that uh, the monkey. <laughs> that was pretty cool because it brings that. What it turned all your cards legendary. Uh, when you play the golden monkey, the golden monkey generates uh, legendary minions in your hand. The equal amount. If you have like six cards in your hand, you take those six cards, put those in, back in your deck. Then you, you generate a random like Yeah. It's pretty damn good. Sounds overpowered. Sounds very RNG. You could get five Chos. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Did you say Chos or Chubs? Chos. <laughs> or Bloodmage Thalnos. Yeah, or Bloodmage Thalnos. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job. I, I, I should get back into um, playing Hearthstone. Well, I know the... It really is a good game. It really I'll show you. you know I'm what? showing people on my stream. This is the Through best Hearthstone. way. Hearthstone. This is the I best way it. to get into Hearthstone again. On my stream is an iPad Mini or an iPad. Because it's so much better. <laughs> uh, I agree. That is the best way because I, I should start doing that again. It's playing before bed. Play 15 minutes before bed. You can do like three matches. Exactly. Yeah, get your blood boiling before you go to sleep. Uh, yeah, that'll help you sleep. <laughs> You can even play against the NPC if you if you don't feel like you can you're worthy enough. Yeah, train first. <laughs> Live to win. Use the heart of the cards on holy. Nalagag Nalagag knows how bad I am. Uh, you Jeez. you cannot I'm compare terrible. playing other players to Nalagag. Nalagag eats, breathes, and sleeps with no. Earth Stone. No, I'm no. He's watched me a few times, and I'm terrible. I remember playing the first time against Unholy. I was like, Unholy, are you you, you okay? <laughs> Did I hurt you that bad? And I'm not good. <laughs> I tore him a new one. I was like, Are you sure? You're I, okay? I'm pretty sure I let Unholy beat me one day. <laughs> Blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, it's right. just running into a wall. <laughs> So with uh, with Hearthstone, I mean, it, what Nalagag, I mean, what Halvana said is true. If you got a phone, 
or an iPad just before your bed, before you go to bed, and you, you want to go to sleep faster. Play one match before you know it. You're you know you get better and better, and you're you're done with it. You're good. Yep. Um. That expansion is coming out next week. Next Thursday. Week. This Thursday. Thursday. Which is the first time in Blizzard's history. Ah, but this is the fun thing. What? <laughs> the guy when he announces it goes later this year. And we're like, it, it, and everybody it, in the crowd was just like, "It's November." <laughs> it's November. Later this year is a month and a half. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> then he changes he goes, it. He goes. He goes. Let me be more specific. A week and a half from now. <laughs> no, he said later this month, and then he's like, "Oh, okay." More specific. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, we can deal with that. <laughs> Um, but this, I think this is going to be a nice expansion. Uh, I'm hoping they would bring a Karazhan expansion coming out soon. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I, I, th I think what you've seen in, because we all thought at first it was going to be ZG. Yes. But I think that's because we saw that, um, card that looked like the snake. Mm -hmm. And it was actually the monkey card. It was actually one of the monkey cards that we saw. So... so. Final thoughts on Hearthstone. Can't wait for it. I'll have to try to buy it. Now? You're gonna I get will it. play. <laughs> I'm going to be heroic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with me, I might just wait a little. I'm not that much of a Hearthstone player, but... Unholy, I'll, your thoughts? I'll give it a try. I, I just recently, like, uninstalled it because... <gasps> I just got so frustrated with it. Oh my god! But I haven't bought any of the the expansions, to be honest. No! Uh, no! 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 Uh, Master Chris Metzen, <laughs> please smite this boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Now the gag will tell you. Yeah, I've I've been getting like really frustrated with it. Uh, he has it had the most. Terrible luck when it comes to fighting against people. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah it's probably the same as when Nalagag watches me play um, when I'm trying to climb the ladder from my fucking back, my Hearthstone back, and I lose every single match because he's watching. I think, yeah, it might be Nalagag that brings the bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a Nalagag nervous. Nalagag brings the factor. baddie. It is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's so why it's Hearthstone covered. It. <laughs> If That's anyone her wants, one, wants to know why I'm looking up, I'm just setting up my screens so I can see Hal's chat and my chat at the same time. I don't have your chat up, but... Okay. Tor's chat is, like, dull. <laughs> There's nothing happening on it. Yeah, because it's just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, next one. Of course, this is the bigger one. Overwatch. First thoughts. How? Go screw yourself, Overwatch. <laughs> I thought it was going to be free to play. I'm not adverse to paying fifty nine ninety nine for the Origins Edition. But you do get a lot of stuff with the. You get a lot of stuff with that. <laughs> and that 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 little ape in-game pet is just so adorable looking. I probably and you can buy everything for ten dollars. That's how they get you. Now, what do you think? Like the stupid pets. Now? Uh, now, your thoughts. I will buy it, but Overwatch itself, I don't know. Not a big fan of it so far. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reiterate. I just, I'm buying it for console because I think it's gonna be better on console than PC. I'm buying it on PC because you know, shooter is most comfortable with. Yeah, I'm more comfortable with the the Xbox gamepad for shooters now, though, since I've been playing Destiny. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Unholy, your thoughts? Have you seen? Well, you've, you've seen a lot of Overwatch. Well, if it's if you have to buy it, there's like Blizzard. You can only get so much of my money, and I'm gonna choose to buy Legion and not buy Overwatch. So I'm just gonna buy <laughs> that's, both. That's that's. I don't have. I'm not made of money, so. <laughs> Which yeah, is that's just where I stand. Ten cents a day, you can get unholy Overwatch. Unholy, your body is full of organs that you don't really need. 
<laughs> you got two <laughs> kidneys. You got two kidneys. <laughs> hey, hey, we all we all know I'm. I don't have an appendix, so I can't sell that. <laughs> That's he, useless anyway. He's in trade chat trading kidney for Overwatch. <laughs> Go to the black market auction house. <laughs> Shit, you know. No Selling today. eyeball to pay for <laughs> to pay for electricity. Oh. Though. <laughs> oh Poor my. Holy. Oh. Uh. I think Can it's really good. We bring on Holy on the show more. I like yeah. picking it so much. I think it's going to be... I'm not much of a shooter person, but I, I think this, this... I might get hooked on this. Uh, it looks like it's a very addictive game from what I've watched. And the timing for them is pretty damn good because with Battlefront coming out next month... And by Call the of Duty time, just came out. And Call of Duty just coming out. It'll die down where... Overwatch will pick it up and then, you know, pick up all the people that died down from... Because no matter how the hype of a game is, it dies down. All the battlefields die down until the next best shooter comes out. And Which is the next battlefield or yeah. the next or Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Yeah. So, yeah, you know... You completely the best last, one of the Fallout The hype for Fallout 4 is going to last like a month, month and a half, maybe. I give it two weeks. Yeah. Uh, if they're if they're gonna get annoyed as with it, I, I don't know. Uh, Tor, you probably play it. Follow Shelter. Yes, I do. My girlfriend's addicted to that. Oh and... my god, I that drains your battery like like a friggin' demon. We, we were laying here last <laughs> night just watching a movie, and fucking out of nowhere, I hear her go, "Oh fuck, shit!" <laughs> I said, "What?" She She's goes, "Two tapped. of my people." She goes, two of my people died from starvation." Really? Yes. How? Uh, how's like we're not having kids? I'm like, I'm like holy shit! <laughs> we're not having kids. Huh? I thought, I thought I got bad. At, I, I thought I got bad at video games, but she gets worse. Did holy! You, did you catch what an holy said? I heard what you said. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my if I god! Ever, if I ever have a mistake on holy, I'll name it after you. Thanks. That would be an honor. <laughs> Chest. <laughs> I, I lost track of the clock. <laughs> I just want to point out you, that all of you glimpse over the one that's most successful has been successful for like two years now, and that's Counter Strike. Yeah. Has Counter Strike's a beast. Counter Strike will continue living because the hype behind that is just so good. It is the number one shooter, and it's been like that for a good while now. And I'm going to point out that. I don't think Counter Strike's updated its engine once. I nope. haven't played Counter Strike since I was like in like elementary school. Yeah, last time I played Counter Strike was I was on Skype call with now, and I kept getting uh, <laughs> fucking shot in the head. I don't think I've ever, <laughs> ever played Counter Strike. It's a very fun game. What is it, a shooter or a strategy? It's a first-person shooter. Shoot. It's, it's a, a really good uh, first-person shooter. <laughs> If you want to see it at its best, look for a, a CS:GO tournament on Twitch and watch that. Yeah, yeah it's I'll watch it and I'll be like, intense. I could be as good as them. Go in the game, shot in the first time. Because <laughs> it's because uh, Counter Strike uh, uh, CS:GO is actually one of those shooters that are actually difficult to master. Yeah. Unlike Call of Duty. Yeah. Duty. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Oh. So, Next. <laughs> Overwatch, final thoughts, you think it's good? I, th I think it could be good. Yeah. Uh, seems fun. I've, I've been watching Kelrick play, and it doesn't seem like a bad game. It seems pretty fun. It but, seems like you can have a lot of hilarious moments with uh, some of the, the, the way that the heroes work. Yeah. One, one thing I just forgot to mention, I don't I understand what he meant, but you can't really stick with one character. It's designed for you to switch up your characters in between matches. So you get a choice, or your character gets blocked out? What happens? Um, uh, you can stay like, with it. I heard like all like all characters have a character that 
counters certain characters which like if you're running a certain team composition the other yeah. team can like swap out to the counter like a counter character it's yeah and, e and the matches the are like 10 minutes which is like like bite size so you can jump in and out whenever it's a very casual friendly shooter yeah so they try to do something like hurt song quick fast it's, I, it's I think, quick ones, i think yeah. 10 minutes is kind of long in my opinion uh, ten minutes for a ten minute match. That's okay. Yeah, because I've seen uh, like CS:GO streams. And those matches would go on for thirty minutes to an hour. Yeah. Well, again, watching Kelrick, I I would put her stream on, and have it like on a so on the side, do something, look back over, and the match is like like one second to being finished, and I was like, wow, that was like just fast. It's not yeah. it can be long like if depends on like how your your patience are is like you know like tour you and i and nalagag sat down what for two hours one night and played heroes of the storm and we had like what 15 matches that's true yeah um it's paced the way it's paced is like we could sit down for an hour and play overwatch and maybe we'll get in 10 minutes every uh like you know 10 minutes on the hour every hour like the whole hour is made up of 10 minute matches mm -hmm. or maybe we win really really fast on some of the matches and we go through to like five minute matches each time okay yeah i'd like i like to see what they do with like the party and group systems and that because they like, if if you have like a skype call like this and you want to like have like a guild type thing happening you can like arrange it so you can like have a custom game didn't, which would be pretty cool now okay didn't you mention something like that before we started that they were asking people if they had like a voice chat built into the battle net launcher yeah, yes they're, they're supposed to be putting that in yeah, yeah. and they're asking people it's like uh, would you like it or if they implement it would you use it and they have like options between maybe no or yes I've heard it's overwhelmingly positive. Isn't isn't there like a voice the chat like built worst. into uh, Warcraft? That's the worst. <laughs> one. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That's the way it sounds. You can have the most professional sounding mic set up and be like perfect on streams and stuff. You go into the WoW one, it's all like, "Hey guys, it's 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 honestly the worst mic ever. It, it's it's the worst software. It it's the worst software. <laughs> and they thought that was wow. shit putting it in. Uh, <laughs> so let's go on to. Of course, I haven't updated the like. Oh my years. god, they Blizzard! How it. how how bad are you, Blizzard? They Jeez. Put, they put that in the Lich King, early Lich King, I think. Uh, before uh, that, wasn't it? They put it in in the second patch of BC. Yeah. I remember because I was still we were still playing with that big group of friends that I started WoW with, and we were would use that every night, but we couldn't understand what the fuck anyone else was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I I'm sorry. Can I can I go on like a, just a small story? Go ahead. <laughs> we were going yeah, let's through. Hear it. We were throw, going through the dumb Moreau, um the mountain pass to get to Ironforge, and. Sin goes. There's a frost saber over there. Why don't you use a uh, your your um, your hunter ability to tame it? I thought he said, "Why don't you go kill that refrigerator over there?" <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I said, "There's refrigerators in this game." <laughs> he goes, "No frost saber." <laughs> I I can't. You're yeah. still saying refrigerator, dude. I can't understand you. I can't hear you man. <laughs> it's a Canadian thing. Oh man! All right, so go let's, ahead. Let's go into the big boy. Yeah. The wow Diablo. Oh, I was. Wait, did they did mention? Did they didn't mention did heroes. There's they a whole bunch of stuff happening with Diablo. There's a whole bunch of stuff mentioning with heroes. I didn't see anything about. Diablo. I didn't see anything on Diablo. Oh man, freaking Shinobi has been on Twitter about this whole bunch of stuff about Diablo 
because he streams Diablo. So I just put my phone on friggin' vibrate because yeah, I didn't want to disrupt the the podcast. <laughs> Oh my god, MMO chatting is so slow now. I haven't I didn't Sorry. hear a thing. Only thing I heard was the only thing I actually saw was the the exclusive that you get from Overwatch if you buy the uh, origin edition. You get something yeah. in D three. That's the only thing I saw in D three. I didn't see anything on Diablo at all. Not even MMO Champion posted anything on Diablo. I th- I think one of it one of the things that Shinobi tweeted was uh there's set dungeons. Or something like that. Weird. Okay. It, so, there's a whole. There's like a new zone or something. Also. Did we even cover Weird. heroes? Yeah, we didn't cover heroes either. Oh, we, we, I thought we did cover heroes. No, because remember, heroes has the thing that we are all super oh, excited yes. for. Oh yes. All right. So let's cover heroes before we do this. So, so great, man. Heroes in the storm. Three new characters. One is uh, Gang Gray and Main. No, not Gray Main. The other chick. The other chick. Sure. Oh, you mean Tracer? Uh, no. Oh, oh the cowboys here. Uh, there is a there's a war there's a warden named Lunara. Lunara, that's it. Lunara. Uh, there's Gen Gray Main, and we we have uh. Also, Shogal, uh, Lu- which is Lunara. Yeah, Lu- Lunara is a Grove Warden from one of the Night Elf starting zones. Okay. Okay, so I was, the, the I was about to thing, ask, besides, where the hell is besides that from? Greymane looks pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, Greymane looks really badass. But the big part is Shogal. Oh no! Wait, wait! No, no, no! Hold on! Hold on! No, that was another thing. They had hinted that the Headless Horseman was going to be a thing, too. Yes, they did. That, that needs uh, to be an in-game thing. mount. You can purchase it's it. It's going to be an in-game mount, I think. Oh. Yeah. No, it needs to be a hero. I wish. Um, so the, biggest thing, so the cool. biggest thing is Cho'Gall. Now, the special mechanics with Cho'Gall is it's a one... Two, players, two players has to control one character. That's what makes it very unique. How that's going to work, I have no idea. We'll have to try it tomorrow or something. Now, <laughs> the, only re- the only way you get Cho'Gall is if you're in the audience or a digital subscriber or a random participant that they, they'll hand it out. But, but, you do get it if, me, let's say, Tor and I play two games as Cho'Gall together, because I can play it as long as he has it. Yes. Once we play two games together, I get a copy of Cho'Gall to play with another person. So, and so on and so forth. As Doi stated, it's like an STD. It's a virus. It's an STD. It's, a, it's an STD. You pass it on. Like, and when, when Hal unlocks it, he'll invite Unholy, and he play two matches with Unholy. And, and I carry his ass. And he'll get it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I'll be wanting to run into walls. <laughs> Why are you attacking me, Unholy? We're on the same team! We're on the same team, man! <laughs> We're attached to the same body, you. damn it. <laughs> you, got, you got some red ring around you, bro. Unholy be like, quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! <laughs> oh, if it's on, red, it's on. dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's go. We're 50 minutes in already, and we haven't even got to the meat. I know, right? So, that's the biggest thing with, with Heroes of the Storm. Oh, on arena matches. Basically... Yeah. They put everybody in one, one small room, and basically you just slug it out to the death. And they, finally, and they finally said that in that match you'll be able to play, um, uh, you could have a team of all Illidans or all one character if you wanted to. Yes, all the awesome. same character. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Alright, so that's, we covered here the storm. Now let's go to the big boy. Let's start off with, uh, we already covered the trailer, so we're not going to... Oh, hold on, guys. StarCraft had an announcement, but no one cared. <laughs> no, the Koreans did. <laughs> the Koreans, Koreans, the care. Koreans cared. Alright, so the Broken Shores is going to be the initial start. I have a feeling that the Broken Shores is going to be the pre-launch event to Legion. Where, uh, right here, it's basically a cinematic ties directly to the story of Legion. Which we saw the, c- the cinematic, uh, kind of a little cinematic to it. 
Uh, Legion's going to take storytelling to a new level. We'll see that, Blizzard. You've lied to us many times in the, in the past. Yeah. Yeah, your damn city hubs. The, oh, thing, sure. the thing I'm excited for is that this Broken Shore um, event is going to be a 40 person scenario. Yes. In which oh, Horde and Alliance oh will. 20 will Alliance and 20 Horde working yeah. together. Working together. Yeah. Uh, changing the world. Uh, it starts right after the cinematic ends when you land on the Broken Shore with Varian fighting all of the demons. Remember in last year's Wait. BlizzCon, that's also where you start your quest for your weapon on the Broken ah. Shores. Well, well, yeah, well, that was GamesCon they were talking about that. And oh, it's GamesCon. Probably, they said maybe two hours into the expansion you're going to start finding your weapon and stuff. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, that's what I'm most excited for, the artifact weapons. They state that the level 100 boost is going to be its own separate adventure, so the Broken Shores tuning can be more challenging and fun for when it launches. So the level 100 boost is not going to take place on the Broken Shore when you boost. It is going to be its own separate adventure with another area. Are you still going to deal with the same shit that you deal with in level 90 boost? Probably. Where you get all yeah. your abilities taken away. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember Kara going, But where are all my skills? <laughs> she was flipping out. I don't know where my skills are. I know I had these skills. <laughs> so let's uh, go into Demon Hunters. Demon Hunter is a lot of shit. Uh, the Demon Hunter uh. intro to the story is the bridge <laughs> from Burning Crusade to Legion, uh, which is answering what Illidan was doing in Black Temple all those minutes before we stormed it. Uh, apparently we're going to see a cinematic at that point where it shows Illidan watching us assault the courtyard, and he turns to his Demon Hunters and say that you guys have an important mission to go please, to now. Please don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. No, don't say no that spoilers. horrible joke. Don't say that horrible joke. And apparently, Illidan yeah. was not prepared. Oh for my God. Boo. God! Boo! Get off the stage! That, I was booing that guy when he said that stupid line. <laughs> Illidan was not prepared. Shut up! <laughs> Over you overused it. It was overused when <laughs> freaking BC was done. <laughs> uh, you want to take off from Mardoon? Uh, Mardoon is the prison area. Basically, what's going to happen is you're gonna team up with Illidan in the beginning but then you're gonna get captured and you're gonna be sent to I think it's Mar Mardoon oh no no you got it mixed up so um, that whole cinematic with Illidan uh, telling the demon hunters to go into the portal and go through they're going to Mardoon at that point you're right Mardoon. Uh, Mardoon is a prison world for demons that was shattered by Sargeras uh, there, all, there you will get keystone that hell that hold demons uh um, in bind for a long time. Good words. Love you long time. Yeah, love you long time. Uh, the Burning Legion has more powerful versions of older demons, uh, along with terrifying new demons locked away there. Some of those demons did look badass. Especially the girl with the giant tits. I want to smother my face into... I mean, what? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Legion has giant constructs as well, which I think we all pointed out looked like um, cruisers from Star Wars: The Old Republic. Yes. Uh, very. I was something from Star Trek. Or Star Trek. Or we had the other thing that the Legion is just the uh, the the Borg. And, and we can gonna... all agree that the mount that you get from Illidan is amazing. Yeah. That fell, whatever it is, fell saber. Uh, Demon Hunters will turn the Legion's constructs against them, uh, bringing in our own army and enlisting, uh, listening to their communications and stuff. Uh, stealing power from the crystals, reducing the cooldowns to zero for a short time on all of your abilities. We covered that one. <clears throat> uh, you gain abilities from absorbing them from powerful demons during the intro. Yes. Uh, Illidan creates the frost, the, the fell saber mount for you. How powerful are these demons? Uh, a level 98 can solo them. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be taken from Sword Tour. What's that? Medivh, uh, oh. I have uh, captured his prisoner, then a few years later you re you get released. Yes. It sounds kind of familiar there. <laughs> so sounds like uh, ramming speed. <laughs> ramming speed. <laughs> it's a Sword Tour for anyone who's done the new... Uh, expansion 
Yoga like I said, next speed. week we're going to do a podcast with just me and Tor talking about how awesome that thing is. Yes. Um, where are we here? Uh, putting you in the Vault of the Wardens for a long time. The second half takes place in the Vault of the Wardens, uh, which is coming in beta. So that's going to be a playable part before you go back uh, to Mardoom. This where you're in Mardoom. Right, this part right here is going to be very MLP. Uh Alter the uh, after the intro, you join the alliance and or horde, uh, so you can help them fight the burning legion. Just like this does, this does not mean, however, that you can have a blood elf in the alliance. It means if you are a blood elf demon hunter, you're going to the horde. If you're an that would have been uh, kind of cool. <laughs> if you're a night elf demon hunter, you're going to the alliance. You can't go cross factions, unfortunately. That would have been cool if they actually did that. Yeah. Uh, you then return to Mardoom to establish your class order hall. So that's where the order hall is going to be on that prison planet. And on the prison planet is where you're going to be doing the quest to get your very own artifact warglaive. Yes. <clears throat> I covered demon hunters. You can do the other two before I. Talk. So I have a question for you, Hal. Sure. So after after doing all this, what level would that put you at? Level one hundred. 100? Yeah. Uh, but the second half uh, is the actual questing in the um, expansion, I believe. So, so the you're first half gonna is be almost like a, a novel, visual novel. Yeah. That's so, the best way to put it. So when you get captured, you're going to be like level 99. Then you're going to quest through there, and yeah. then it takes you to the main point in the story where everybody else is at. Okay, that that sounds pretty pretty fair. Yeah. Okay, while You're going to see a up. lot of demon hunters on a variety you're of You're going to see a lot of oh demon Oh my god, hunters. right? That's why they're only allowing one per server. Yeah. It's gonna and be you like have to have death, a level 70 to uh, have, make one. Okay, so at the Broken Isles, we're looking for the Titan Relics... Uh, each zone will have you be. You have to capture one Titan relic from each zone. They are uh, separate from the pillars of creation. The pillars of creation are points in which we have to capture as well. Broken Isles were a tiny part of a vast region of Azeroth known as the Sur. Uh, how, is, how is it pronounced? Ah, uh, Suramar. Suramar. Now, uh, just throwing back, wasn't originally the Goblin area called the Broken Isles? Um, or am I thinking something different? You're thinking something different. Broken Isles was only ever mentioned in Warcraft Three, I believe. Yep. Well, maybe it was assumption that the Broken Isles was the, the goblin. What do you think? What do you thinking of? Is the Lost Isles? Lost oh, Isles. Maybe. Okay, you're right. Thank you. Uh, Suramar was devastated by the shattering, leaving only the Broken Isles. So originally. That area where the dungeon is that we're going to be going into uh, with Deathwing, is that where he broke out and then came no. into our world where he was no. dormant? No. When uh, when he turned the the, uh, the demon soul against the dragon aspects? Yes. Um, when he got tore apart by the old guard gods for trying to, to touch the disc, um, this is the area in which he was resting for a little bit before he started breaking apart. So that was the lair of Naltharian. <laughs> that was where he, as an Earth Warder, was residing to. That was his domain in that area. It was a giant cave, I think? Yes. It's a giant cave, and it's made out of the Earth itself. Like, the Earth was formed around that. He formed that to his exact uh, specifications when he made it. So, Sormar was basically... This was before he became all molten and wanting to tentacle rape everything. But the shattering was when <laughs> Deathwing came out and he destroyed Azeroth. No, the shattering was when the uh, Well of Eternity imploded. Okay. The, the sundering. Uh, well, actually, they fucked up. <laughs> That's what they did. Um, it was supposed to be the sundering uh, that they mentioned, and the shattering is actually when Deathwing came up. You're right. They, uh. Yeah. They fucked up, is what they did. Okay. The you hear, you the hear it first. Goofed. You hear it first here at Coffee Talk. We we corrected. <laughs> you done goofed. Black shirt guy. Black shirt guy. <laughs> Angry bird shirt guy. 
<laughs> All right, anyway, it was a Valshara. A Valshara, yeah. Valshara is being consumed by the Emerald Nightmare. We finally get to see the Emerald Dream. Finally! After how many years? After killing those Nightmare Dragons back in Burning Crusade. Vanilla. Too damn and long, Vanilla. Tor. Too damn long. I feel like Tor should have been the rock. He's like, finally! The Emerald Dream has come back to so Madison Rock. Square Garden. <laughs> On oh, SmackDown. Uh, Malfurion was trained as a druid there. That's where uh, Malfurion became the first druid. Yes. Shadow Drassel was a gateway in Emerald Dream, but has been twisted and tainted. One of the first world trees is what Shadow Drassel was. Oh, okay. Yeah. How many uh, world trees are there? There are, I, there's no uh, specific number. I think there's just giant trees that give life. I think that's what they call like the bigger trees. They call them world yeah. trees. Because uh, isn't there one in High Gel? Yes. Yeah, you're you're gonna meet one of the you're gonna meet you're going to meet three of the key arc druids of Valshara. These are ancient fucking druids, like made when Malfurion was made. Of yep. when when Malfurion became became druid. This is gonna be cool. New satires. New satyrs, yeah. I call them satires. <laughs> satires. Satires. Yes, it's it's up there with my. Uh... It's a tire that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's up there with the other words Sorry. you can't say. Satyrs. There are new satires in the zone. Lots of uh, new models for druids, especially we saw the Boomkin model. Looks yeah. really <gasps> good. Very, new boom chicken good. models? Yes. Yeah, it, it looks oh really good. for high res, man. It's awesome. I may have to boost the, my uh, my druid that's on. Uh, freaking. Many uh, of the structures in this area are inspired <laughs> server by toy. Uh, Very Kashyyyk style, basically. Yeah. It's going to be very Kashyyyk like. Uh, a lot of tree type of buildings. Mm -hmm. Stormheim. After the intro. Yeah, after the intro, we will go to Store High and meet the Vyrkols, uh competing against the God King. We will learn more about the Gavaldir and the Valkyr, which is the Gavaldir are the um, uh, oh, the, the, the cool big guys. the big dudes, like the big humanoid looking dudes from North. Oh yes, in Lich uh, King, they're in the in uh, the center area where uh, the Citadel is. Yeah, they're in Utgard. Yes. We're in that area. They're the more um, human ones. The the Valkyr are um the uh the basically the, the banshees that uh Sylvanas has under her control right now. They're the ones that look like white. me. They're all white and glowy. The well, white and glowy. These are primal Valkyr, which are before they've been uh they're before they're dead. So basically these are beings of like pure light. So they're on their way out. Do you think that somehow Sylvanas will try to manipulate them? Uh, I think you're going to see a big thing there. I think maybe Sylvanas is going to be one of the people that try to figure out the, the origin of these Valkyr, I think. If given the chance, probably, yeah. Mystic Valkyr are religious zealots. Uh, so it means that they're very um, they're very devoted to the, the light and stuff. So no asking them for sex. <laughs> God damn it. Um, there are, that explains the bush. There are... <laughs> <laughs> there are ascended Valkyr in the Halls of Valor. These are Valkyr who have died but have uh, been blessed by their, their god gang up there. Uh, there's a new dragon flight. That, new they dragon actually flight. look pretty cool, the new dragon flights. The storm dragons are found in Stormhelm in Surma. And Azuna, that's the place we couldn't figure out what it was, you know, Azuna. Oh, okay. Azuna? <clears throat> okay, uh, quick, what's the best way to get blessed in the Hall of Valor? Pull Sneeze. Down, pull down your pants and <laughs> pray for a priest to bless you. Uh, open your asshole and say 15 Hail Marys. <laughs> no, you gotta sneeze. Uh, Azuna, Ashara's bless vengeance <laughs> devastated this zone before the Sundering. Uh, mastery, mystery of why she killed and cursed thousands of her own people is yet to be known. Uh, max view distance has been increased by three times in Legion. That's gonna be Oh my awesome. god, FOV sliders have been increased. 
Uh, we meet remnants of the Blue Dragon Flight. These are a dying breed of Blue Dragon Flight, which I'm assuming were scattered when the Dragon Soul was used uh, against the Blue Dragon Flight. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Warden's Isle is an island in that zone, the home of the Vault of the Wardens. So that's where you're going to be emerging from when you're a uh, demon hunter. The Spectres, we were like, what the f What is that? The Spectre is the male counterpart to the Banshee. Now, if you remember in the low zone areas, uh, when you're leveling up, say like the undead, you'll see the, the female banshees, they're all white and they got the green hair and they're flying around like, ooh, like that. A good place for Alliance people to remember that is Darkshore. Darkshore okay. had a lot of those places. Yes. And also the where, ones that um... attack you? Screw those things. Yeah. Uh, what Hit were you going to say, Tor? Oh, what's the, the, the freaking paladin, his, his, uh... His burial area is. Oh, uh, Uther. Uther Lightbringer? Uther, yes. Uh, there's tons of, of them over there. Yeah. Uh, there is a new huge type of Naga, and I told Halligag it looks like he ate all the Halloween candy. He <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> looks, like, looks like he's super Whoa. fat. He's very top heavy. Naga have a new high res model, armor, and weapons. Awesome. They look, they look scary as fuck. Yes. Uh, as Na. Uh, there is local sea giant kingdom that Ashara has allied with, and um, did you know, Tor, that they used Admiral Taylor to measure uh, how a human looks towards the sea giant? Those sea giants are <laughs> friggin' yeah, ginormous. They, they redid the sea giants, and they look so awesome. Yeah. Uh, the Wrath of Ashara is a huge creature that is huge. <laughs> Don't say. Warden, wardens have owl companions, so when you see a warden, they're going to be accompanied by a flying owl. Um, Greek island concept is for Azuna, so uh, Azuna is uh, very heavily influenced by Greek land masses. That'd be cool. That's That would be cool to see. Lots of new like columns the... and domes for the Night Elf architecture have been made in this zone. <laughs> I like all the Greek stuff that they, they have like in the game. Like all the yeah. pillars and... And Azuna, Azuna, as well as the rest of all of the areas, are being worked on by 80-plus artists and 60-plus designers on the team. Push it! Push it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's a little... Uh, uh, high Mountain Tour? Uh, with that, I would like to see maybe some type of cutscene or something that we actually physically get to see Queen Azara. I want to physically see her. I don't uh, think they have to, her model uh, made yet, man. Holy. Uh, if you go to, to the her. second area of the Night Elf, if you go, like, almost all the way down the bottom, like, to a ruin, yeah, you see, but... see, like, four Nagas there. You kill them, you see a Shara. Yeah, but that's a, just a generic model. <laughs> still cool in Shara. You yeah, want to see her? There you go. There's Queen Ashara. <laughs> yeah. High ass. Mountain Tour. All right, High Mountain, one of the largest mountains in Azeroth. From the stream... It's pretty damn big. It it looks like there might be something on the top, mm -hmm. on the top of the mountain, maybe some town or something up there. That's where you get your flying. There might be an ancient <laughs> civilization up there, actually. I think they yeah, said three ancient Torn clans that have lived in peace for generations. One of them we're calling the Canadian moose because one of them looks like <laughs> they have giant like, moose antlers. Nice. They have moose antlers and they were in the Canadian colors, so we're calling them the moose. <laughs> Thank you, Blizzard. <laughs> I know I know. Tor is going to mess this up and call it the Donut Tribe or something. It's the Drog Bar. Drog Bar, that's what I was going to say. Drog stole Bars. The, stole the artifact. This is the new race that... you. It looks like they... They look like Frankenstein. They look like buff trolls is what it was. I thought they looked like really, really muscular trolls. I thought it was like a Frankenstein's monster, honestly. It was uh, really true. bad thud. The Drogbar are a shamanistic race. Uh, they are cave-dwelling uh, and were enslaved for some time by an unknown force. Drogbar Sheepton is in Netherian's lair. Uh, there are new creatures like the Alpine Harpies and the new Moose models. Tauren. Which, I think we all said the Harpies look pretty damn good. Yeah. They I want to fuck one. I, want, I would like to fuck a Harpy. I would do that. I'd do that shit. Uh, Torn decorate their horns to show clan and rank. Uh, in the in the Torrens from the high mountain. 
And Swiss Alps and Yasamite are inspirations for this thing. Yosemite. 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 <laughs> Listen, you take you and your satires and you go fucking away, okay? <laughs> Suramar. <laughs> Suramar. <City>. Yo, Yosemite. <laughs> Suramar City is still intact thanks to the defensive spells from the city mages. The defensive they, spells? The sensitive, yes, because they're a little too sensitive. <laughs> they harness the, the power. From the night well, keeping it up for 10,000 years. Damn, they have to have a lot of... Um, stamina. <laughs> stamina, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the elves became dependent on energies of the well, uh, relying on it for living energy. Doesn't that sound a little familiar? Uh, Blood elves? Blood elves? elves? Yeah. Dependent on magic? Yeah. Uh, elves in the city are a new type of elves made from an old type of elves called the Nightborn. The gates of the city were opened by the Legion. The city is kept in darkness. Now, that's going to be kind of cool going in there. Yeah. Crimes are punishment by exile from the city. Physical withdrawal makes them into the Night Fallen, which is like a zombie version of an elf. And basically, Ooh. if you would suck all the soul and essence out of a Night Elf, that's what they would look. They like. They look like the ones from uh, by Silvermoon. Yeah. Those guys, that looks like them. If a night fallen cannot get arcane sustenance, they become permanently withered. Which means they their chest and stuff is no longer flesh, it's just like decaying bone. They need their fix. They need their <laughs> it's fix. It's like a prune. <laughs> it, uh, it's like a walker. They're like a walker from that weird show, Walking oh, Zed. Oh, oh you, mean, you mean zombie? Oh yeah, a zombie, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, ancient, We're not in that universe. You can't use ancient that night elves are arcane based, mm -hmm. not nature based. So you're gonna see a lot of arcane wielding night elves in the city. That's gonna be cool having yeah. night elves actually doing arcane damage. And Soromar City is one of the most ambitious projects the team has ever done. A giant playable night elf metropolis. So your characters are gonna be able to freely roam in this area. Do. You did they even post where exactly uh, on the map where Dalaran's going to be put? Uh, yeah, yes. it's by Zuna, Up I think. in the sky. Yeah, Zuna. It's by Zuna, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to gameplay and systems. You want to just read one at a time? You yeah. You and I back and forth? Yeah, back and forth. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, originally, the plan was to work your way through the Broken Isle of Zones in a clockwise manner. Uh, we'll also chime in on that one. Basically, they changed it, uh, so you can go anyway, any, any direction you want. Basically, it's gonna steal from Swotor once again. Yeah. If you want to go, let's just say the zone is level, uh, what is it? Uh, one hundred five to one ten. Yeah. Well, what's gonna happen is, uh, if you're like, it's gonna scale you down. If you're level one hundred and you want to help out a friend. That's level one. That that's at that level. And you'll go down to the level of that zone. So, uh, basically, what they said was your level doesn't scale. The zone scales to you. Yes. So, uh, I, it's one of the things that we're going to mention again. If they say it takes twelve seconds to kill a boar at one hundred two, it's going to take you twelve seconds to kill it at one hundred six. Everything scales. So basically, you can yeah. go in any path in any any um area you want to go to. Mm. Good, because the game's not tedious enough. I, I think it's going to give you a lot more freedom in, in the way it's sounding. We just covered it. The team has learned from flex and scaling in Warlords. I don't... The zone scale now for you. Yeah. Are they still going to do those random event things? Because those are pretty... pretty oh, uh, we're going to get to that. That's near the bottom here. Yeah. Uh, the Broken Isles will let you do... The four leveling zones in any order you want, and yes, all zones will scale. That's not true. They said one zone is going to be a level 110 zone only with its own separate story. I think that I said that that was Suramar. That's the final Which will, area. Something like that, yeah. Which that zone will come like oh, here six it goes. months later. Yeah, right there. Right the there. Next line. All roads lead to Suramar, which is the max level zone. 
Uh, you can play with your friends as the zone scales. Level 105 and level 102 players can go to the zone and quest the gem. Uh, players aren't being scaled. The world is. So just remember, the world is scaling to you. We already said the 12 second for the board, so ideally players won't even notice the scaling, so it's going to be seamless. Uh, they still be enemies that won't scale to come uh, back to tackle at max level. Basically, some elites will always stay at elites. They won't yeah. scale because they're an elite. They're like... They're like, we don't conform to you, so go the fuck away from <laughs> so with So with the world scaling, is that like basically the world levels around the player instead of the player... Correct. Level Correct, around. Yeah. Okay. In the past, you would go to a zone, do some daily quests for some reason, and then never go back. They want to change that in this expansion, where they're always going to give you a chance to go back and get the uh, the the dailies done for a specific reason. Uh, in Legion, the goal is to have the best of Warlords and Mr. Pandaria. The freedom to choose which quest you want on any given day. But there's still a purpose to the story. So basically, they want you to quest, but not feel like it's a chore. That you have I wanted to, to do it at out. your own convenience and your own leisure. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be some structure to endgame quests that should not feel less uh, like a required content. Oh, but it should feel less like required content. So the story is going to be overarching in these zones, but they're not going to feel like you have to do these stories. Unless you're a completionist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going for the lore master. Yeah, exactly. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Endgame content. Alright, the endgame content can make us all feel like the Broken Isles. Thanks, uh, blah. Me read more gooder. <laughs> the endgame content can make use of all of the Broken Isles thanks to the scaling. I'm so being sleepy. Yeah, so like you're in Dude, the end it's only zone. 830. <laughs> you're, so so you're like in the end zone and you're you picked up a quest there. It's like go back to High Mountain and settle the this uprising of like Torrens or something like that that's happening there. Okay. Legion will have an ongoing world quest that's constantly changing, varied season, claim gameplay Reasons. and rewards. Very uh, reasons, gameplay, and rules. Oh, reasons. So basically, there's going to be events all the time happening. Uh, world bosses are also going to be changed unfrequently. Uh, so it doesn't get bored, the world events. Uh, <laughs> since everything scales with you, they can do world events in any area, in any zone. If you want to, if you want to, like, equate it to something, it's basically going to be um, uh, the adventure mode from Diablo. So you know how you go to a Diablo and like like you no know, for like five minutes you're doing like you're killing the skeleton king and the next one you're going to like a, an area with a bunch of skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. You just hop some... from act to act. Yeah. And for some reason it's region specific. Yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, objectives will last from. Uh, will last from hours to an entire week depending on how important the objective is. This next one is how I'm like feeling that. right now. Object uh, team wants you to feel overwhelmed with the some variety, variety of, choices. of choices. I kind of feel overwhelmed now because they're throwing a lot at you. Mm -hmm. And I like to complete things. I like to get things done. So if I get a lot of tasks done, at, like all thrown at me, I, I just... It's overshock. Uh, rather than choosing what missions to send followers on, you're going to go on those missions yourself. Uh, no more garrison missions. Yeah. <laughs> some so objectives. Garrison at all. Some, oh, go ahead. Some objectives are reputation specific, so depending on how you know your rep with the thing, you'll get harder quests or more beneficial quests. Yeah. Some of these objectives are PvP related, such as assaulting an alliance tower as a horde. Like we mentioned before, world bosses can be an objective. Uh, you'll get a quest for killing a world boss. Uh, so, you know, there's many choices of you to, to be doing uh, when you go to your, uh, your hub, the little hub area. Gatherers, or people who only like gathering, will have special objectives on their own for them only. 
Uh, this can bring back some mini gameplay, such as rolling the wall. Quest in the veil. I don't remember. <laughs> that. Rolling, rolling on the wall. Quest in the veil. I don't remember that one. What That's. Was that? They're That's catering one, to me. Yeah, there. It was one of the most fun daily quests I've ever done. Which one was that? Rolling on the wall. Uh, you literally roll down the serpent spine of Pandaria and try to knock people off. It's like a like a sl uh, slalom type run. Yeah, yeah. Thing. I never did that one. Uh, oh my god, it's so fun. All rolling of the, on the region... wall, pissing and shitting everywhere. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, I figured out what the whole controversy about region-based thing was. All of the region will have the same objectives for that time, so you can play with friends on other servers. If Thorium's uh, objective is to kill 14 walruses, every server is going to have 14 walrus qu kill quests on yeah. that area. Nice. That, I thought they meant, like, North America and, like, Europe. Like, uh, yeah. like remember, remember the whole uh, perfect scenario was with Angelique. He needed that quest, and oh, it, would yeah. never, it would never pop up on his server, but on oh, our the server, pit daily, the, pit daily, the, pit the Pit Daily, we would have the Pit Daily like five days in a row, but I got on it his six server, days in a row. on his server, he couldn't get it for his life. He was like almost a month without getting the Pit Daily. So he so, couldn't fly, so <laughs> Tor had to cater his ass everywhere. <laughs> so this is what they mean by that. Yeah. Uh, that makes you, sense. You begin an emissary store. Emissaries will send you to do quests and some objectives for their faction. You can pick the uh, available ones. These aren't daily quests, so they will hang around for a couple of days. So basically, if you go to your your uh, your your area in Dalaran and these two quest givers are there, I don't have to, you're like I don't have time to do it today. But damn, I'm gonna miss out on it. No, it's no longer. Uh, yeah. If you miss out on it today, it'll be there tomorrow and maybe the third day. But uh, if you don't have time to do it today, it's fine. It'll still be around for the next day. If you don't log in for a while, there may be more emissaries than usual waiting for you, similar to Hearthstone. No idea what they mean by that comparison. Basically, uh, they'll, they'll be quests. all waiting there. They'll be all waiting there. Uh, yeah, the daily quests. Uh, what the yeah. hell? You've been gone for a week. We're, we're, there's like 30 of us. Uh, I can go. I can cover raids by myself. We should beat you up we now. We can go the same with Dungeon Store if you want. Okay. All right. Uh, raids. Legion will have two raids at the start of the expansion. So when the expansion launches, it's going to launch with two raids already intact and ready to go. Not right away. All well, uh, a week or so oh, after. <laughs> they wait two weeks. All 37 bosses? Two weeks before raids open. Yeah, uh, the Emerald Nightmare is a seven-boss raid in Valshara, essentially the Emerald Dream. So we're finally... All you nerds who wanted that are getting that again. Sorry. Uh, you get there by... You get to the Emerald Nightmare by climbing the world tree... Uh, uh, the Climbing the world tree. Uh, crossing over from our reality to the dream. So it's going to be like phasing technology, I would assume. Uh, the first raid boss is a dragon. Finally, they were big concerned that there was no dragons and warlords at all. The pestilence worm is a green dragon that has now withered away and is dead. It's basically a dragon. black, a black dragon. It's, it looks like it's been drained. Yeah, it looks like it's been drained of all life. Uh, Cenarius is the next boss, corrupted by the nightmare. He may live or die, but this is uh, just a boss. Oh, it's hard. He may not. He may or may not die. Rather, sorry. Isn't Cenarius in our timeline? Like in our. Cenarius world? is the druid that taught Malfurion how to be a druid. But isn't he in our world, like hanging out in uh? Hyjal. In Hyjal. In Hyjal. Yeah, but they're saying that no, he's, he's that green guy, right? He's so connected to the Emerald <laughs> Dream the that it 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 corrupts him when they thing gets corrupted. Yeah, because his corrupted version looks pretty damn nasty. His corrupted version is like, like I'm on fire. I'm on fire, you don't mess with him. Uh, Xavius is the third boss of this encounter, which means Xavius is not the end boss. Yeah, what so they lie to us? Lies yeah. already. Uh, Xavius is the third boss. Uh, he's the old satyr. He's the first satyr, or the satire. First satire. <laughs> Uh, Suramar Palace is a 10 boss raid that is Gul'dan's base of operation dream. What do they mean by that? 10 boss? Uh, it's a 10 oh. boss raid. Oh no, what, uh, originally they put 10 man raid 
on the thing. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a 10 boss raid. Yeah. Uh, that is Gul'dan's base of operations. Dream. Uh, in the center uh, uh, of the Nightborn, in home is is the center of the Nightborn, and home to the Eye of Amunthul. Uh, the Eye of Amunthul is a relic artifact that is from one of the Pantheon. Amunthul. Uh, Suramar Palace. Uh, Suramar Palace isn't a dark zone; it's a light city, so it's oh. really bright. Is it majestic? It's majestic. There will be a Dreadlord Ambassador that you fight. Look at the final one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grand Magistrix of the Nightborn is a boss. And the final Gul'dan Grand Magistrix, boss. did you say? Tri Grand Magistrix. 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 Magistrix, yes. Magistrix. <laughs> and, yeah, Gul'dan's cool. the final boss of cool Stormar Raid. All right, for dungeons, there are ten dungeons. Five are regular dungeons, and then f uh, another five are going to be are coming out at only. max level. Yeah. Level right. up dungeons include the Eye of Ashara, Neltharian's Lair, Halls of Valor, Darkhide Thicket, and the Violet Hold. Thicket. Out of those, I think Neltharian's Lair is the one I'm most excited to see. Mm -hmm. uh, dungeons will be integrated into stories of zones uh, than previously before. I, I, the way I'm interpreting this is if you complete a zone... It's going to tell you to go complete the it's dungeon. Gonna, so. It's going to link it to the dungeon. Instead of going to the dungeon early, yeah. you won't access that dungeon until you, you get to a certain point in the story that mm -hmm. will con mix in with the dungeon. Okay, the I, have dungeons... a, I have a question. Okay. Um, is there What's going to be the requirements for the heroic versions? That we don't know yet. Uh, the Better dungeons can over. the no. There's no. There's not going to be any uh, requirement for like proving grounds. Okay. They took that. I out. hated that. <laughs> uh, the dungeons can be done in any order as they scale to your level. So, so even the dungeon content nice. scale to your level. Basically, think of this. Everything as scales every to zone, you. Every zone is its own story, so it you can mix it in any way you want. All the zones will all lead to the center area. Mm. The big ending. The big ending, yes. At max level, Tor? At max level. At max level, is where you said. At max level, there are five more dungeons. The Vault of Wardens, Blackrock <laughs> Hold, uh, Helheim, Suramar Noble District, and Suramar Catacombs. I always like the word catacomb because it's Catacombs? Catac <laughs> catacomb. Yes, uh... <laughs> Now, I'm uh, like, now I want cereal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed Noble has his own district. <laughs> uh, Suramar Noble District has some new gameplay that is different from any other gameplay that you have done before. I highly doubt that. Yeah, right. Is there mini games? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. That That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, Pong. Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Simpsons I'll did be it. Playing, uh, playing my MMO and play mini games instead of interacting with actual like people. Oh, play a uh, uh, ESO. Dark Heart Thicket, level up, uh, level up dungeons Thicket. in Valshar, in the heart of the forest corruption. Part of the story zone is to rescue an ally trapped in there. Malfurion. Malfurion. Yeah. Malfurion. Uh, Alls of Valor. Alls of Valor is a level up dungeon in Stormheim that is inspired by Valhalla. You will prove your worth to Odin, not Odin. Odin. <laughs> <laughs> you are racing the God King to claim the Aegis of Agrimar. One of the best looking dungeons the art team has ever made. We're basically, racing his Nalgag's father to the top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Helheim. Helheim, the counterpart of the horse halls. The horse of <laughs> the horse. Of I am fucking sleepy. It's okay. We're almost done, Tor. We're Is there done. hellhounds in there? I don't know. Fuck, I thought I was tired. Helheim, the counterpart of the halls of valor. This is the max level dungeon. When you start on the dock to board the. Oh, this is the one with the ship. 
That's the oh, real one. Oh, the real okay. one. Basically, yeah. you go aboard the cursed ship of the dam. Uh, this takes on a ship. It looks so awesome. The so ship is, is it? Going, uh, it just. You have to see it. it it's really. Is it like the um the? It's like Grim Rail Depot. It's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Grim Rail, so, but on a boat. But it looks uh, better. So you can say I'm on a better. boat, motherfucker. Don't you? You gonna play? <laughs> Black Rock Hold is a max level dungeon, ancient elven stronghold used against the Legion, militaristic elves, and Lord Ravencrest is the final boss. Lord who Ravencrest. I was sure was dead in, in lore, but I'm pretty sure they just brought him back for no reason. How come that name sounds very familiar, Lord Ravencrest? Lord Ravencrest is who gave Illidan control of the Moonguard in the War of the Ancients when. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, is that Warcraft, I think? That's Warcraft 3. Lord okay, Raven Claw. He's not actually Claw. part of that. <laughs> How do you put that? <laughs> the goal for the game is to book. keep dungeons relevant for the entire expansion, both in terms of rewards and difficulty. Now that's where they talked about this whole re uh, keystone system, in which when you complete the dungeon, you get a keystone, and you'll constantly depending on how far you get through the dungeon each time, or whether you complete it in a certain amount of time, you get a harder version of that Think dungeon. Of Diablo. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's very yeah, Diablo. It sounds like the the greater risk. You go from hard Keystone. to hardest to hell and you know, it just keeps going up like that. Inferno. Inferno uh, gets, every every version gets harder, but the rewards are better. You get better gear for every time you get Yeah. Yeah, I I like the or idea maybe, that uh, the Taking ideas from th their other games, especially and... one that's addictive like Diablo. Yeah. Ugh. Dungeons uh, also need some variation to avoid the mechanar problem. Picking the most efficient dungeon to do, even if it isn't your favorite. So basically, it's just yeah. You know how leveling up Blood Bowl slag mines was the fastest way to get your experience. Screw that. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't want that to happen again. Are they still have put, uh, implementing the challenge modes? Uh, that's Taurus. Legion's challenge modes will keep dungeons relevant. Basically, you're, they're going to have challenge modes. They're going to be timed, but it's not too much in the timed uh, way. There's just like a, a one set time that you have to beat. Yeah. it's It should be no difficult than receiving a silver medal on the uh, time dungeons. Okay. Uh, the Challenger's Keystone is used to start dungeon challenge modes. It may come from world objectives. The Keystone has been uh, has a power has a power level that determines the difficulty and reward. Higher levels of it will have the same additional modifiers. Maybe there yeah. are now there is now a single timer, roughly around where silver is now. If you beat the timer, you upgrade your stone, and you can take on a more challenging version. If you fail, you lose the keystone, but still get some loot. I yep. think they're going to change that right away. <laughs> I worked my ass off to get this stone, and you're going to take it away from me? And it's probably, like they yeah. said, it's going to come from world objectives, so when you're doing the adventure mode, you're like, oh, I picked up a keystone for this dungeon. Yep. So like it's this. probably going to be easy to get. I like this. You get a jackpot at the end of the week based on, on your best run. That's nice. At the end of the week or at the end of the dungeon? End of the, end week. Of the week. The week? There will be new modifiers to Damn. master each week, week, week to keep things fresh. So the modifiers could be completed in this time limit. Or if you are into the dungeon, there may be a pack when you first come into the dungeon that you have to kill. Or there may be a boss right before the uh, trash pole that you have to take care of. Uh, as good as you are, there will always be more of a challenge for you in dungeons. So that's you know every time you level up the dungeon, it's always going to be more challenging. They're going to throw something in there differently. Also, uh, they said they were going to like add the uh, modifiers. Add creatures. Yeah. Remember the modifiers, like uh, yeah. some. Uh, Creatures if below thirty percent, they we'll get one hundred percent. They'll get one hundred percent damage, or once that uh, if you kill, they will explode right after death. Some will have poison attacks. That is uncleansable. That's uncleansable. Yeah, it yeah. sounds exactly like Diablo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you what, will have to like, focus on combat experience, not just the time. 
Higher so level keystones will give more health and damage to enemies, but also is, will give them more in range. Things like in range, like I was just saying. Yeah. Are they like are the monsters like randomly like are the mobs randomly generated every dungeon? It I'm gonna be. assume, yeah, that's gonna be because, like. Because like they said, one of the perks, one of the, the the abilities they might throw in there is more trash mob. Uh, to go on with the enrage, uh, extra enemies, corpses explode, uh, leave fire behind, constant dot damage for the entire dungeon. That sounds nasty. The constant dot damage. Yeah, that's gonna be shit. Fuck that. Uh, and I, I'll do the last two tour. I know you're tired. Uh, the system will start slightly above the heroic dungeon difficulty level. So when you get your keystone, if you haven't done the heroic version of the dungeon, you're going to be very surprised when you walk into that dungeon. Yeah. And this system will complement raiding or even replace it for you entirely, depending on what you choose to do. So, there might be guilds completely dedicated to this running of the uh, heroic challenge modes and stuff. I, for can, I can see that. Yeah, if you're if you're not you have, you have, you have a group of five people, and you don't really want to be doing any raiding, you do let's LFR say just for the storyline. Let's say you have a guild. You know, it's it's been around for oh I don't know twelve years. Um, it can't really get the healers that it needs. When it gets the healers, the DPS leave. Hey, hey, hi. And, hey, uh, hey, hey. You watching oh. my stream? You watching oh. my stream? Hey, Hal, here, here. <laughs> a cherry on top. There you go. A cherry on top. There you go, Hal. Let's say you're Order of the Black Lotus, all right? And you can't raid every week because everybody's egos and their heads are shoved up their own asses. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tor. <laughs> I love you. You know that. He's doing the silent treatment. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it on your stream. <laughs> uh, uh, I love this snap feature. What? Uh, Both at the same time. On the PC and one of my Xbox. He's lagging. Now the guy's lagging. Yeah, he's lagging a little he's bit. Cause his, that's because his Xbox just turned off. <laughs> Xbox oh, off. It, well, downloading Halo. Oh. Well, one thing you need to learn is if you're live streaming or you're playing, never use the word Xbox because <laughs> it's going to listen to you yeah. and you're going to you're gonna screw yourself. Yeah, it's like it's have... like it's like a kid. I heard my name. What do you want? <laughs> as much as I'd love to talk about the cinematic, I think everybody's running on fumes here. I've been up since 7 a.m., so... I'm uh, I've been up since 6, so... No kidding. I've been up since 8. Oh, my. There's a lot of information, though. We got a lot of information but, today. Uh, we got all our information from MMO Champion. We're not gonna... We did all this. We got all our information Yeah, it's there, all but, from MMO Champion. Uh, if you want to go to MMO Champion, check out the notes yourself. Uh, there's also tons of screenshots... So when we talk about like a sort like a dragon, you can actually go see the the models for the dragons. If you guys players. want to, you can head on over to youtubecom slash Alvanus, where I have already gone over most of those screenshots. Thank you, you whore. I wouldn't. It. It's kind of boring over there. <laughs> oh. There's there's no t-shirts and no punch. Well, at Lisa, don't post every four months. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Fuck <laughs> It's so mean to me. <laughs> oh. so Tori and Unholy are the two favorite people I love to abuse. <laughs> Tori's like my wife, and you're like my side bitch. <laughs> His guman. <laughs> I smack the shit out of Tori and then tell you I'm gonna do it to you, but I don't. Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I was hoping. All right, so we've gone on quite a long time. Way too long. I'm putting this vod up on my channel. Anyone yep. can see it? Go better. Go to my channel. If you don't Matt, know, if you don't know who I'm at, who I, who am I? Go fuck yourself. Who am I at? <laughs> who am I at? <laughs> who am I at? Go fuck who yourself. Who am I at? I'm at the hood. <laughs> if you don't know who I, like I am at, cracker. go fuck yourself. You fucking you talking yourself. to me? I'm called the Brooklyn Rapist, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> Later. Signing off. Till next time. See ya.